Hey, what's up, Trace? Ugh, so unhappy right now. Hey there, friend humans. Trace here with my friend Sapna for DNews. Welcome, Sapna. Thank you. New research has put a really strange twist on friendship. According to some people, socializing with friends makes them unhappy. Like, really, really smart people, though. Not everybody. Not us, right? We're good? Oh, yeah, we're good. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but studies have shown having friendships increases life satisfaction and happiness. I know, shocking, right? No. But a recent paper from the British Journal of Psychology claims people who are highly intelligent have lower levels of satisfaction the more they socialize with friends. Basically, according to their findings, really, really smart people don't find it as valuable to socialize with their homies all the time for a variety of reasons. The researchers posit the ancient human brain evolved to have a few friendships they could rely on to help raise kids, and hunt and get through the day, you know, every day. But apparently really smart people don't need friendships as much because they're more adaptable. So this begs the question, what is the right number of friends? Well, the University of Essex looked at a 35-year study of 10,000 students and found more friends means more money. The researchers looked at kids while in school and compared that to their lifetime earnings. It turns out those with more friends as kids made more cash as adults, 2% more for every school-aged friend. Ooh, I like that. Give me all the friends. Bring it. But you can't actually have all the friends. According to anthropologist Robin Dunbar, there's a physiological limit for social stability in non-human primates. It's called Dunbar's number, and it's 147.8 social connections. Yes, by studying primates, they learn the brain can literally only handle about 150 people. That's apparently all the brain space we have. Dunbar extrapolated this to ancient humans, and he found they lived in groups of about 150 individuals. And Dunbar's number does seem to play out in the modern human as well. Studies done with Twitter found people could maintain about 1 to 200 stable relationships on the network, and it also seems to work for Facebook. Psychologists seem to think that most human relationships break down to five besties and 15 close friends, which could include family and siblings. And that's backed up by a 2016 study by Dunbar using social media. He found that most people had around 15 core friendships. We evolved to have friends because friends help us take down prey, they help us raise kids and cooperate in a productive society. By looking at our brain, we can even see how evolution supported the bonding of those friends. When friends interact, our brains release oxytocin. It's that feel-good bonding hormone common in mothers and infants, in pair-bonded mates, and of course, in friends. Endorphins are also released, rewarding us with a little shot of happiness when we interact socially with our buddies. Are you feeling it? Oh, I'm feeling it, totally. totally. Yeah. And believe it or not, regardless of intelligence level or anything else, not having friends can be dangerous. Studies like one in 2010's PLOS Medicine have found those with social connections live longer, while those without have a 50% higher risk of death in the seven and a half years following their study. And that's one example. There are many others showing a lack of friends increases heart disease, cognitive decline, and it can pose health risks that are similar to smoking. Regardless of level of intelligence, Friends are super important, right? The health benefits don't say have tons of friends and get tons of benefit. Instead, it would seem that you just have to have a few. If you're watching this right now and you consider yourself a youth, the Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge wants you. All you have to do is identify a solution to an everyday problem, create a one to two minute video explaining the science behind your solution. Maybe you can get a friend to help you with that and submit your video to youngscientistchallenge.com. And one grand prize winner will get $25,000 and an exclusive mentorship with a 3M scientist and much, much more. The deadline, it's April 20th. So hurry up, get on it, figure out that solution. I liked how the research in this didn't discern friends from family, you know? Some of my friends are like my brothers and sisters, aren't you, Julian? It makes sense. Chemically speaking, your friends are pretty much the same as family. Lacey talks about how that works in this video. What the researchers say they find most interesting, though, is the fact that those genes you share with your friends are evolving more quickly than other genes. Could our social environment speed up evolution? I don't know. It's kind of what it looks like. What about you guys? Do you have a friend who's basically like your family? How many friends do you think we should have? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you get more D News every day. And come find us on Twitter. You can find the show at D News.